I'm going to start with you, Rache. Uh, top couple of priorities for you all as you march into fiscal year 2025 in regards to, you know, cloud and cloud services, et cetera. Yeah, I'll say my top priority uh, within Homeland Security Headquarters, given uh, my portfolio contains the DHS Enterprise Cloud, is automation. I mean, automation is mm. huge. Um, I heard, I think Balaji mentioned continuous integration, continuous deployment. Yes, that that is something that we, we do have some of those tools already enabled now, but there's always progress that can be made and those tools are constantly changing and upgrading and, and evolving. So that is one thing too. Auto scaling, it's almost like that, that unicorn that we keep chasing. We think that we have the right settings uh, for auto scaling to happen the way that it should be, but that's something that we continuously tweak within um, multiple of our cloud environments. So we still have some work to do there. Um, infrastructure as a code uh, is one of those things that are also on the list and a lot of security related items like disaster recovery, making sure that we have enough coverage there in the cloud uh, in the event uh, that we have any, any um, incidents. Uh, compliance automation, I, I'm really uh, looking forward to um, that as well, that I think some of these tools, especially in the AI space, will help with. Mm -hmm. I think one thing that I'll say lastly, um, I'd like to see more uh, done on with our technical debt. I mean, we did a lot to lift and shift a lot of applications sure. to the cloud. Mm -hmm. However, they are not necessarily cloud native. And uh, I'd like to see, I would love to see some tools also. I know we're gonna get to the future later, but I would love to see some tools in that space that would help with that refinement of applications to make them more uh, cloud native without significant manual effort. So that's also a priority for me. 